Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we were in Gibraltar. We went up to the famous Gibraltar Rock, took in the spectacular views, and we also said hello to some local macaques. Oh, and we cycled across an airport runway. How cool is that? Whew. It is warm today. It's very humid. Say that again. According to the girl in the marina office, this is actually a Levante. What? I always thought the Levante was a wind, and I said, why is it so humid? She goes, Levante. Maybe it's the aftermath of the Levante. Yeah, it's just, it's like... I'm I remember this last year, do you remember in Rota, how hot and humid it was? And that was that was just after a Levante as well, actually. Yeah, it's so, it's, what is it, 10 in the morning, it's mm. 25 degrees, which is we fine. We are sweating. But the humidity is crazy today, even the yeah. girls in the office are moaning about it. So um, it's not just us moaning about no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> so we are heading off. Uh, it's time to leave Gibraltar, which, you know, at the moment we're really dictated purely by weather rather than anything else and uh, we have a weather window to leave. Uh, the prevailing winds seem to be easterly uh, because that seems to be the forecast that we've seen for the last few weeks, just easterly winds non-stop and then every now and again they bro get broken up by uh, kind of a, a day or two of very light winds or no winds. Oof, God I can't tell you how sweaty I am. <laughs> I feel disgusting. So we are heading uh, as far east as we can while the weather permits. And I think that we'll be getting to somewhere called Almerimar. That's probably not how you pronounce it. So I apologize to everyone who does know how to pronounce it properly. <laughs> and uh, we might be stuck there for another five, four, five, six days or something before we can continue on and at least we're not stuck in a marina in this humid weather you know at least we're out in the water and we've got a little bit of apparent breeze so yeah actually that feels really nice now that we've rounded the corner there's a bit of a, a breeze feels nice we are ready for the next probably 30 hours at sea Four days in Gibraltar. Um, we got to see what I wanted to see, which was up the rock, the rest of it. Uh, it's okay. It's a little taste of England, which is both good and bad in equal measures. And now we are literally heading up the coast. We're gonna head, we are heading, naughty elephants quote water. We're heading east. We're heading east to um, just get up the Costa Brava and try and find ourselves kind of some more authentic, authentic Spanish stuff. So authentic Spanish, um, kind of towns. The next hundred or so miles is just a stretch of not a lot apart from kind of hotels and, uh, and resorts, which is not really our thing. I don't know that, just not our thing. So uh, yeah, that's, that's us, that's what we're doing. Welcome to a day at sea with us. What I've heard about sailing in the Mediterranean is that there's either too much wind, there's no wind, or the wind is coming from the wrong direction. And I always thought that was a bit glib, but it so far does actually seem to be the case. We have eight knots of wind that we're motoring into right now. We've been port bound for a few days because we've had strong winds from the wrong direction. And tonight the wind is gonna drop off completely and I don't think we're gonna have any wind at all overnight. And then it fills back in again from the east and of course we're trying to go east, so so far, it doesn't look like we're going to have any sailing per se. It's going to be kind of motoring in these little windows of no wind, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. And uh, it's a very, very strange thought that we, after I think three years, more than three years of always being in the Atlantic Ocean, we are now in the Mediterranean Sea. Now onto a very, very, very important question. Yes, my love. Why are you wearing a long sleeve jumper? It's, it's, it's not warm. It's hot warm. It's not warm. It's not warm. Oh. Only like an hour ago we were complaining about how humid it was. And we were but, sweating. But because we're at sea now, we've got a sea breeze, my love. I see. 
I'm feeling quite comfortable, although I'm in the sun, you're in the shade. Yeah, exactly. When you come over here for your watch, you'll be like, oh, I'm in the Thirty-two hours at three knots gives us ninety-six miles, one hundred and twenty to go. We can't get in in time in th at three knots. Well, I'm very much hoping that we're going to not stick to three knots because that's ridiculous. I don't know. I'm just slightly frustrated by the fact that we can't make the boat go faster. I mean, I can only assume that as the wind drops off, then hopefully our speed will pick up slightly because we won't be motoring into it. Surely. It's, it's just, it's the state of the hull and the wind. The wind is going to drop off, so I don't think we should make any decisions until tomorrow morning. I think we should sail this course until tomorrow morning. I don't know, because look, really, on the course that we're at at the moment, if you look at this as a course, between here and here, like, when we're there, by the time we're there, we're going to be 30 miles off the coast of Malaga. So at three knots, that's ten hours. Okay, so how, <coughs> how far away is Malaga from here? Fifty miles. So we will get there in the middle of the night anyway. I don't know. I, I just, well, I, it's I, a gamble, isn't it? Because we either stay on the course that we're on, hoping that the speed picks up, or we turn into the coast knowing that if we do that, we'll probably be adding too many miles in order to make our Mary Marbine find night for tomorrow. Or we just accept that we're going to get into our Marymar Marina at 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, according to the guidebook, there are anchorages along this coast, but obviously most of them are exposed to the east. According to the guidebook, we can anchor um, off the beach next to our Marymar. So if we get there at night, then we can anchor and then go to the marina when it gets light. It doesn't say anything about night entry here, which is unusual. I mean, it looks fairly standard. All I would say about this marina is they are all stern two moorings. They're not pontoons. It will be very tricky at night, baby. All right, well, let's just see what we've got. What are we doing? Well, basically, we have altered our passage plan slightly. Have we? Well, the, yeah, we well have to have a passage plan. You actually legally have to have a passage plan. You can't, it can be in your head, but you have to have one. Right. So our passage plan is always based on five knots as a boat speed. Yeah. Because of winds, the state of our hull, which I don't think is particularly dirty, but wind and whatever current is here and swell, we are not going to make a five knot average. No. So we are looking around that four knot average at the moment, which is fine. But that essentially means that in 30 hours when it gets dark, we probably, probably, probably are not going to be at the marina. So we are just looking to either find an alternative marina for the night or um, change our course and go somewhere else anyway. But what we've decided is that looking at the wind and looking at everything that we've got, we've got we can anchor if we get in after dark and the, the approach looks too difficult. Yeah. That's it really. We have had a very uneventful afternoon out here on the water. Saw a few dolphins. They didn't come to say hello, they just swam off into the distance. We weaved between cargo ships that were pretty much stationary. Why were they stationary? Why weren't they moving? Were they waiting for like clearance or something? Uh, yes. Yeah, anyway. And uh, we still haven't really improved on our speed we're doing 4.1 knots at the moment 3.9 3.7 so yeah still going fairly slow uh, the sea state is starting to smooth out the wind's starting to drop off we've got about uh, six knots of wind about half an hour ago, ago we had 10 knots so that is dropping off quite rapidly which is in line with the forecast which is always nice we're going to hopefully have quite a comfortable night, um, but we're certainly not going to have any blistering speeds, that's for sure. So we've got 97 miles to go, is that right Nick? Yep. And 
hopefully we'll get there before dark tomorrow. But if we don't, we have a plan because we're gonna, there's, a, there's some space to anchor near the marina, so we'll anchor and hope for the best. after eight o'clock uh, we've just had dinner and Nick has gone to bed hopefully he'll be able to get some sleep and I'm on watch um, the sunset watch which is always nice this focus is really annoying me I've got it like it's meant to focus on my face but it's not anyway yeah the sunset watch is always really nice it's always nice to watch the sun go down after at the end of a long day um, there's plenty happening on the AIS. So here I am, I've got my book, I've got my chocolate, and I am ready for my watch. Good morning. It is, it is 20 past eight. Sun's up. We have done uh, another night at sea. Uneventful night. Um, there's really nothing to see out here. All I can do is see that in the distance, I'm sure you can catch that. In the distance you can see the outline of the, the Sierra Nevada mountain range, which is pretty cool. We wanted to make kind of more progress along the coast today, but unfortunately the way the wind is, we've got a Levante wind coming in, so it's going to blow hard from the east and we want to go east, which means that we're not going to get to go east. We will hopefully get in around lunchtime, maybe a slightly after lunch, another four or five hours to go, and then we're going to take a rest for a few days and go and explore the beautiful area. So that's it, there's our plan. to go. It is stiflingly humid. On board there is not a breath of wind. We have three knots apparent so the sails are just loosely hanging like pairs of old knickers. <laughs> it's been thus far just a straightforward motor sail with the emphasis more on motor than sail. We had a, probably some drive from the wind. Picked up about midnight last night and probably added a knot of speed to what we're doing but as I said, we hear so often that Mediterranean sailing is far more motoring than sailing because there's just the winds are so light uh, a lot of the time. I got into bed last night and I'm thinking, you know, the last time, well, some, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we were sleeping sideways and being kind of hiccuped sideways across the mattress with every wave. And really, we've been in far more rolly anchorages uh, than this. We are very close to Amerimar now, we're only three and a half miles away and we are prepping ourselves, both the boat and ourselves psychologically for, for our very first Mediterranean mooring of the season. We have moored stern to before, like med style. Hang on, let me turn that down at the radio. I think, what, we've done it twice? Yeah, that's only time, no, that was in Portugal, but that's the only time I can remember doing it. I think it's just been once. Anyway, 
it's definitely the first time this year and the first time in a few years so it should be interesting hopefully I mean we've got our boat hook ready I've got my gloves ready we have in our mind what we need to do there's no wind you need the back gate open yeah you need stern lines you need long lines not really long lines but like a six to ten meter line on each stern cleat yeah yeah? Yes. That's it. Well, that's and it for you, not it for me. Well, basically, hopefully a marinero will kind of help you tie off. Join us next week where we take advantage of our time in our Marymar to do some much needed cleaning and maintenance on Ruby Rose. We also bump into Paul and Cheryl from Distant Shores and they very kindly allow us to come on board their beautiful new Southerly 480 and take a little tour. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. There we go. Cheers, bye.